Your girl might be in some trouble here. I don't like that. I don't like the sounds of that. Hopefully it's not as bad as I think it's setting out to be, right? Like, hopefully it's not setting up like, oh, we have to kill this woman. <laughs> like, hopefully it's like a cut contract, term over, get out of here type of thing. And then we can, like, explore her more in the open and see where we kind of go. And then see if Jinchi's man enough, you know, to pop up and be like, I fucking love this woman. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how, like, the, the inner details of, like, how his position and all these things work and, like, what actually happens and, you know, how we can kind of keep her around or if we can or if we can or like, whatever. I don't know. Um, I'm excited to see what happens. A little nervous, but at the same time, there's plenty of, like, story to go. So, like, I'm not nervous that Mama is going to, like, be gone. You know what I mean? It's just like, I'm nervous how it's going to like unfold and what it's going to do. If I also got a new concubine who's going to come in here at some point. I'm excited. I'm also nervous <laughs> again. I feel like I'm a little too nervous for some of these things. I don't know. I'm excited. Though. I feel like it all the like and subscribe to me. Not just for Instagram for the discussion. Leave me comments with this episode or series. This is a Toho animation show. This will be blocked at some point. If you would still like to watch it after there is no reaction portion left in this YouTube video, please check the link in the descriptions or the comments. And the reaction section will be there. Let's get going on with episode 12. Okay, so everybody gets different degrees of punishment. あの時代あるワード費に差がなかったのは幸いだった。第2関係者の子女が80人ほどいます。2000人中80人。Goddamn. なかなかの的中率だな。望みであれば隠蔽します。望みであれば。She'd it's could or couldn't, right? That's what she said. このまま呼吸に留めておける。だが、もしそれが彼女の意に反しているのであれば。Mm -hmm. Can you talk to her? 気づいた時、どのように受け取られよう。二人の間の亀裂がこれ以上開くのがとても恐ろしい。都合の良い駒ではなかったのですか。why would you fucking say that, buddy? あたやのもしめは全員辞めなくちゃならないんだって。これが結構な人数になるみたいなんだ。いいよ。急に辞めることになってこまってる子周りにいるよ。なんだか嫌な。いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、
You gotta be communication, Mau Mau. Well, now what? Now where the fuck do we go? What happens? <laughs> no, I fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I thought when he said that he was just gonna be like, oh, oh my god. No, she's not. Yeah. You're not going to be able to. <laughs> That's the whole その上、一晩の尺で一般の給金一年分の義理を言える。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <笑>どうなんて持っての。<笑><笑><笑><笑> I saw him in the background. <laughs> oh my god. They get into work. Oh. <笑>なぜ避ける。議場にも触れない力だそう。お前、決勝で変わるって言われないか。うん。よく言われます。そもそもなんでそんな格好。アルバイト中です。マジャー。疲労でか。そう。なんだわいだ。ノー。この方はど
Probably not. <laughs> now look at me wanting to go back. ゆっくりしてきな。たまにしか入れないんだ。金なら<笑> We question him about his past. The perfect place to just fucking reflect. It's a very like I don't know the word to use. Chilling like sequence. It's a rewatch with the music. <laughs> That's enough mechanism. <laughs> Another classic within this this series <laughs> between our main two, and just you know a, a typical classic I would say with mis miscommunication being the cause of a lot of issues here, but works out pretty well because it allows for a lot of reflection and people to actually realize things that they are kind of missing or things that they might have had better in other situations or actually really want, uh, as opposed to kind of what they've told themselves or how they've actually been beforehand and been able to kind of reflect and realize that, which is a great thing. Uh, so I think it's a miscommunication thing that's done in a nice way without making it overly, I guess, dramatic in a way that just feels cheap i don't know it feels like something that easily could happen you know just abiding by his duties he did what he did he fired her they moved on and then he kind of realized oh, i fucked up. i shouldn't have done that and he gave her a perfect chance to kind of reflect on where she wants to head and what she wants to do with her life from now until they reconnect and actually have this conversation and then everybody seems to kind of be on a similar enough page uh, which is pretty pretty cool we don't progress a ton of things besides that besides her like really getting into uh mau mau that is getting really into like her own thoughts and, and things here uh we don't like progress a ton i i think jinshi makes his intentions and his his feelings and stuff a little bit you know out there more than he already has before uh but mao mao doesn't seem to pick up on that of course uh which i mean we've talked about before as well why she doesn't and you know that she probably <laughs> for a while uh and he won't outwardly say anything again not properly communicating with a bunch of things either and then it causes some some problems there but that's okay i'm not going to be on that too much the only thing that i think really progressed that i really want to think about because I, I don't remember is so Mau Mau is those debt like she's in debt basically to the the old lady here right but why because I don't remember I remember since basically early on she's been kind of paying her back and talking about that stuff with money and stuff that she needs to give her right and I've never really questioned it but I don't think they ever have told us why or what reasons or anything that she is that just doesn't make much sense to me so I don't know that doesn't I don't know where that kind of comes in so I'm interested in in that I don't know if they said it and it's just slipping my mind or or maybe they said it and I literally just wasn't paying attention when they said it let me know but if none of that's the case and we just don't know then I think that's just kind of weird that they keep saying that but we don't know unless it's supposed to be something that we're just supposed to think and speculate on I guess the only thing I can think about that would make sense is we had that one scene where uh one of her sisters was like, yo, go upstairs. You know, you got to do the thing still. You got to visit her or whatever. And then she went upstairs and then she sat there while the, the, there was a woman just sitting in a bed and she was, I was just kind of in her thoughts, like, you know, just sitting in the dark thinking. So to me, that has always been her mom. And I've had that kind of stuck in my mind. Like, this is exactly who it is. Uh, so I guess that that could just be the, the old lady kind of watching over her or keeping like a place for her uh, and making sure that people like kind of are, are attending to her and making sure that she's like staying, you know, alive, I guess, uh, in these situations or just whatever that, that, that case is. Uh, and that can make sense that she, she kind of pays her as a result of all that. I don't know, uh, but I'm interested 
as to, I guess, why exactly or what exactly her debt ends up being. We start off Jinchi kind of reflecting on everything that we went over last time and how exactly he wants to do this. You know, he has full reign here to just be like, I'm going to kind of cover all this up and I don't care and I can keep her here. But then he starts kind of suspecting, is that what she wants? Does she want to be kept here? Would she much rather be free? And then that's when his, you know, his whole thing before of using her as a tool when she's somebody that's important that he can use is more so turned into like actually caring about her as a person and the things that she wants, uh, which is, which is great. We love to see that sort of development out of a person. Uh, we get our big sequence here where Mama starts realizing, oh crap, I can get caught up in the middle of this. I don't want that to happen. I really like being here and then she has to go looking for him we had a lot of very like dynamic angles and, and shots here with uh Mama kind of running which are fun and it keeps things kind of lively i don't know if i love it it just i don't know didn't feel like the greatest to me but i think like if you're doing in a sequence like that it's just a little bit more unique than usually i guess the ways that they would typically do it so i don't hate it but i don't necessarily think it's it's the greatest thing looking wise or just like the greatest decision i don't know uh ever so i don't know if i i like that too much mau mau in the situation now has to make up her mind because jin she's like what do you want to do like how do you feel about the situation and as opposed to just being like i want to stay here starts thinking about it probably in the most logical way i would say of like i'm not in a position where i can actually ask these things of somebody else right especially like you know to to look out for me and make sure that i don't i don't have to leave and you know cover things up for me so of course she's going to kind of be like i'll just do whatever you'd say i'll just follow orders so, you know just being like as like just, like sucking up to him as much as she kind of can in a way right like just being as respectful and polite in this situation as she can and maybe uh he'll he'll grant her like a favor uh and maybe he can like read the cues and these things that she's kind of giving off through body language and you know just the way that she's speaking uh and he's able to kind of pick up on all these things and then maybe she'll she'll get what she wants the big mistake here was her trying to be so like traditional and respectful in the situation when she damn well like can see uh you know jinchi has like this stronger attachment to her and liking to her and she probably could get easily away with asking him i mean we know as viewers she easily could just get a, a, away with it right she could have just told him like exactly what she wanted and he would have been okay with that but I think that it's obvious enough for her to be able to kind of pick up on that too, that because of this connection and attachment that he kind of has and, you know, the, the connection and, you know, use that he has for her as well. Like uh, she kind of probably could have just came out and been a bit more casual with him and things probably definitely or most definitely would have worked out but in her mind like she probably could have had a strong likelihood and the worst situation that's going to happen is all she was going to get was fired probably anyway. So it wouldn't have mattered the way that she kind of approached the situation if she was going to get fired anyways for doing it, right? So, like, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, she does her thing. And, of course, the the misunderstanding here and things don't go actually well. Uh, you assume things are going to go right, but ends up failing and she ends up getting fired. This line confused me. So when he initially said it, my first reaction was like, all right, we're good. Uh, like him saying like, he'll, he'll pay for the consequences that could come about for this. He'll pay to kind of keep things under wrap. He'll pay to do whatever. Like, I don't know, just something in my mind, like that made sense. Or in my mind, he was like, I'll sell you or not sell you. I'll, I'll fire you, but then I will pay you as much as you need for you basically to come back, uh, in a way that it's like, he properly did his job, but then they needed somebody to come in and work as a doctor or something afterwards. And he's just going to kind of forget about the whole situation that happened there. I thought that maybe something like that, like in that moment, that's where my mind was at. Instead, I, it seems like when they fire them, they give them like something to kind of go away with. Like they pay them like to buy them out of their contract instead of just like a termination or something. I don't, I don't know if that's the the case, but it seems like that would be it because basically she said that she got like a greater gift than she thought that she, she was going to or more money than she thought she was when she ended up coming back. And that's why she was able to kind of give it to the, the old lady and didn't have to end up actually becoming one of the girls or, right? and she could just kind of work on the side a little bit there with them. Uh, so I think that's kind of what happened. But correct me if I'm wrong there. Jinchi was completely destroyed after he, which I, I really, really love. Uh, and, you know, regretting the decision that he made. I also love this this short little scene with Gyokyo and being able to see her being kind of fucking pissed at him about this, uh, this whole situation because he knows he, he really messed up. And then Mamo gets her a taste of kind of being back back involved with, you know, everybody here uh, in the Pleasure District, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is the first scene. Where is it? I'm not going to be able to see it. But basically, you can see early on Jinchi. He was in the background so he was pretty obvious from there so it got me really excited to see what was to come uh and of course she ends up finding him here as he comes here and he's completely destroyed apparently he didn't know that she was going to be here which is interesting so i wonder why this was his place of choice to come but pretty cool and finally we get to have our conversation in which things kind of feel a little bit more relaxed less formal 
and you know professional here and they just it's a, a nice nice enjoyment and for both of them to a sigh of relief in a way to see somebody familiar and somebody that they, they definitely like and want to talk to Jinji being very pushy of course and then he pulls a baller move here being able to uh wipe off some of the lipstick and do this here which i think is fantastic getting her all flustered uh and everybody else of course is watching as this unfolds and catches the attention <laughs> so of course they have to start questioning her afterwards which i really really think is fun also in that moment she was like i literally told you like hey i'm not you know i wanted to stay but she did not say that one time the only time she said that was in her head so she did not tell him at all and so it keeps falling on her and her communication is very very poor well he could have been better too in the situation but hers is just really really bad my mouse starts kind of reflecting a lot over what exactly she wants to do and how she wants to kind of handle things here i'm a bit upset we didn't talk to to a buddy here about his time in the past and you know the things he learned or the things he knows or the things that she should be like wary of here going forward uh if she were to go back or you know maybe get get some ideas about what it is that he thinks which i guess we could still get going forward and whatever the next episode would end up being but uh i just kind of really wish that we could have had that she's in a great position here she goes outside in the cold and just kind of reflects on everything we get another one of these montage things i think that they work really well you know her reflecting on absolutely everything and really thinking about this stuff uh and then just bringing in like a new new song every time and being able to do it i, I think that they work great uh for these situations i i think it's a little weird maybe like two or three episodes after the last time that we got one that was basically the same thing but just in a little bit different of a circumstance uh so it just feels a little weird that we we just keep doing it because nobody else needs that like and we understand what she's kind of going through but i don't hate it and i'm not angry at all especially because it's something back into this episode and we're kind of like closing the chapter on something really here uh so it would make a lot of sense for us to kind of like go back and fully have to reflect on these things that are happening so it's not the the worst decision or something that i actually really dislike uh and then jinchi of course pulling up afterwards with a block a lot of money and things you know to make everybody happy because he knows exactly what pleases people <laughs> which i think is great i don't know if this is his like offering in a way of like here i'm going to give you this this is the things that i can provide you like come back uh which i think would be really really cool but if that's not and it's just more of like a planting a seed like in a bit you know what i mean being like hey we do want you back or i would love for you to like kind of come back and like show her like you know i can get these things or i can do these things and i can provide these the, the stuff uh maybe i don't know interesting to you see i think that's a great spot for a core end like we could have ended season there and it would have been a great great position uh but being able to have so much more and continue on further now i think is also a really really cool thing and gets me very excited to see kind of what is to come uh i'm assuming she ends up going back i mean she's definitely going to end up going back what exactly if her role and everything's going to be the same i don't know and how all that's going to be uh, going about i don't know but i am interested uh, and it would be very fun to see how they kind of want to handle these things we have to still meet the uh, new concubine we still have to i don't know what else we have to figure out but there's a bunch of people and things that are interesting there so we got to do that and i'm assuming some new people will probably show up at some other point too uh that we have to kind of uncover things for and figure out so i'm very excited for a bunch of things and end up seeing what ends up occurring going forward i believe we're on break next week same thing with freer and so gonna be a little bit before those but it gives me plenty of time i guess to kind of catch up on a bunch of other things that i have fallen behind on from that point so hopefully you guys have enjoyed so much up to this point if you like that i'll have to like and subscribe do me not to me feel free to check out that video in the channel in the comments of this episode or series i will be back in two weeks time for episode 13 and core two you guys have a good one peace